greatest show That aardvark is the best I know He eats too much and then he grows Why does this thing have human toes? Yellow shirt, his sister's hurt The glasses to the cow says moo I do suppose I love his nose What's with his ears? Oh well, cheers! Holy cow, the future's now He's an adult, it's an insult He's in my chair, he's got my hair He even has the dumb goatee Why does Arthur look like me? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Really appreciate you being here. Although I do feel like something is off. Wait, I know. Ah, there we go. Hugs, not drugs. Gotta get my dog hair off of it though. Don't get a white long-haired German Shepherd, it's a big mistake. A while back we covered some Arthur meme episodes, and I had a lot of fun doing that, so I figured why not cover some more Arthur episodes? Except instead of funny haha -ha memes, this time we're going over some controversy. Yes, you heard that right hidden deep within the 25 seasons, there does in fact exist controversial Arthur episodes. Yes, Arthur may appear to be a happy, wholesome child, but is there a chance that deep down he's an evil, villainous, sinister terrorist? Yes. He is that. <laughs> Let's do the first episode now. Season 9, Episode 3A, Arthur Weighs In, which aired all the way back in 2005. This episode is one of the very few episodes in the show's 25-year run to have been banned. Or at least, uh, cut from the Arthur Mega Marathon that aired on PBS back in February 2022. That's, that's basically the same thing, right? Arthur, you're cancelled! Oh, no. <laughs> It even got a scathing article on Medium.com in 2022 called We Need to Talk About the Body Shaming Episode of Arthur. I was gonna make fun of the idea that we need to talk about a 17-year-old episode of a children's cartoon, but I don't really think I'm in a position to do that. The episode deals with healthy eating and exercise, something that's clearly a good message for children, so what's the problem? How did Arthur Ways In handle this subject matter? Well, delicately isn't the word I would use. Come see Big Bob's Big Top, gigantic and supersized. Look upon the leaden lump of Elwood City. Large, lardy, lifeless, layabout lump of lumpiness. It's alive! Run for your life! <laughs> Well, dang! They didn't have to go that hard! The episode starts off with the typical cold open. These intros being over the top is pretty standard Arthur fare, but I have to say, giant blob Arthur being portrayed as a literal circus freak show attraction is a bit harsh. Arthur, I'm really sorry they put you through this. It's okay! You're right, it is okay to be in pain. I'm here for you. You know, actually, I'm having a bit of pain myself. Some hunger pain. Luckily, I have a meal already prepared for me here. Wait, what the? What is this garbage? This sucks! Nice approach. If only there was a meal plan that made eating clean and delicious food super easy and convenient for me. It's Factor. This video is sponsored by Factor, the company that makes it easy to meet your nutritional goals with fresh, never-frozen meals delivered straight to your door. If you're anything like me, you often find it hard to figure out what to eat. I want something quick and easy, but I also want it to be healthy and tasty. Does such a thing even exist? Yes, it does. It's Factor. Not only are these meals flavorful and nutritious, they're also ready in literally just two minutes. It's actually insane how easy it really is. Wow. I just pick whatever meals I want with tons of different options, including keto, vegan options, calorie smart meals, and more. And they ship them right to me. And I ship them right into my mouth. I first heard about Factor when they sponsored us on the Peebs channel, and I liked them so much that I subscribed myself, and I've been subscribed ever since. Between meal planning, shopping for ingredients, and cooking time, it saves me so much time in my week. And on top of that, it's delicious. Even my dad likes it! Hey dad, what'd you think of that Factor meal? That was delicious. So give Factor a try today! And if you're not sold yet, how about 50% off your first box? Head to Factor75.com or use the link in the description below and use my code PBG50 to claim your first Factor box for 50% off. Again, that's Factor75.com and code PBG50. Thanks to Factor for sponsoring. After the title card, we jump to Arthur throwing his pants across the room. What the f*** was that? And practicing for his school play. Ghost? Ah! But DW thinks she could do it way better. Ah! Ah! 
Arthur's terrible acting skills aren't the only problem, though, as he can't fit into his character's costume. So his mom takes him to buy some new pants at the store where he is subsequently fat shamed by the adult man working there. Our store doesn't carry much in the way of husky size. Oh, dang! Hey, he said it, not me. Get mad at that guy. Which leads to another less than sensitive imagination scene of giant exercise ball Arthur knocking everyone off the stage. Well, geez, dial it down a little bit, Arthur, come on! The last thing I would want to do after being absolutely bodied, uh, no pun intended, by a random clothing outlet employee is go run and tell my friends about it, but apparently Arthur disagrees. What am I gonna do? This is easy. You just need to die. Uh, die? Don't worry, I know just what to do. So Buster tries to help Arthur by showing him different diets he can do. This leads to one of the more brutal burns in Arthur history, and that's saying a lot considering the show is kinda known for that. That's your after school snack? No wonder you need husky pants. <laughs> But after listing like 12 different types of diets, he then says, None of them work. Oh, okay. I guess we just put Arthur through this humiliation for nothing then. Even the brain admits that it's not healthy for kids to do supposed quick fix diets, and instead he should just eat healthier in general. So we get a montage of Arthur trying to sneak different types of junk foods only to be foiled by DW. Wow, Arthur, you're an inspiration to us all. If only everybody could be as dedicated as you for... How long was this? No cookies, no candy. I'm still fat. Well, it's only been three hours. Three hours? You're telling me Arthur was gonna eat multiple cookies, a candy bar, and potato chips in just three hours? Arthur, I hate to have to do this, but you forced my hand. Uh, uh, DW? No wonder you need husky pants. Shockingly, Arthur doesn't magically fix his weight problem in three hours. So the next day, he still can't fit into his costume, and Mr. Ratburn pulls him aside to give him a little pep talk about it. There was a time when I was a real fatty rat. Very naively, I looked up Mr. Ratburn fat on Google to see if I could find any visual representations from the show, and uh, what I found, I didn't like. I strongly regret that decision, and my eyes will take some time to recover. He tells Arthur about how he grew up playing ping pong, almost to the point of obsession, and through that exercise, he became, quote, the fifth specimen you see before you today. Ah, yes, skinny and near death. I was there at that age too, Mr. Radburn. Ate about one meal a day, had panic attacks constantly, barely alive at all. Yes, indeed, peak physical specimen. Talking to Arthur gives Mr. Radburn the inspiration to teach his class about the value of exercise, and and he does this by assigning them to use pedometers to track their daily steps. Why are we doing this? Because of Arthur. Yes, you have more work to do because of Arthur and his husky ass. The kids get pretty competitive with this, and every single one of them ends up getting a higher step count than Arthur. Arthur only manages to get 800 steps in a day. Now, I've dabbled in pedometers before, and even on my worst days, I don't think I managed to get under 2300, and I'm a YouTuber who sits on his butt all day long. I'm not even sure how 800 would be possible, especially for a child. Arthur, you continue to disappoint me. <sighs> After realizing that he's lazy as hell, he eventually steps it up, combining his exercise and healthy, uh, somewhat healthy eating. I mean, ice cream versus frozen yogurt? Well, Arthur, very inspiring options. You're really setting the bar high here. And he also loses weight by being shamed by his friends and even his dog. Hey, shut up, Azura. I can eat whatever I want. After all of that, he eventually reaches his goal of breaking 10,000 steps, as well as fitting into the pants for his school play costume. Ghost! Yes, obviously eating healthy and getting good exercise is important to teach to children. I have no interest in downplaying that, but I can see how a kid with body issues or someone who was struggling with their weight could watch this and feel a little bit bad about themselves, especially in the over-the-top dream sequences. But should the episode have been banned? 
I, I don't know. Well, frankly, the fact that you'd even show this episode is disgusting. But you won't even take a stance. Offensive and spineless. Wow, what a combo. And whatever happened to this being a family-friendly channel? What kind of example are you trying to set for people out there? Disliked, unsubbed. This is the last time I've ever watched in this channel. In fact, I never even watch your videos anyway. I actually have a lot more to say, but I don't know if I have time to sit here and type it all out. But I will just go ahead and say a few more things. Part yeah. one. You need to show you some of our exercises. One, two, three, four. Keep your body in shape. Okay, jumping jacks, that checks out. Push-ups, sure. Whatever this thing is, yeah, I, I don't know about that one. I don't think that's a real exercise. Some of them we made up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, that explains it. Get more movement into your life. I really shouldn't be laughing, but that kid needs a belt really badly. Our boy is struggling over here. This is my back and forth the back thing. Back and forth. Holy crap, my back hurts just looking at that. <laughs> this is called the wiggle worm. This is called a basketball. Huh? This is called doing the pull ups. This is called my getting shot exercise. This is what can happen if you exercise wrong. Wait, so you're telling me if I exercise, I could get injured? Nah, screw this. I'll just buy husky pants like Arthur does. Our teacher is Mrs. Agiani. She rides a bike to school. I hate my life. And now, back to Arthur. Controversial episodes. The video. I made the video. Like and subscribe, you stupid little b <laughs> How do you know the name of the next episode? Probably the most notorious Arthur episode ever, other than the one where he kills his sister. <laughs> That's what it's called. Season 8, episode 10B. Arthur's always been my boy. Arthur's always got my back. Arthur has never let me down. Arthur's a good role model for children. Arthur's a shining beacon of light! Wait, what? No! No! Not my favorite boy! Not my favorite boy! He couldn't! He wouldn't! And he didn't. But the W did. Arthur just your favorite bird! Holy sh I'm here on the set of The Altos. You know, that TV show about the family life of a gangster? So this episode is already pretty weird, with Arthur canonically on the set of the in-universe version of the gangster show, The Sopranos. I've never actually seen The Sopranos, but I looked it up on YouTube, and there is a 23-minute video montage of murders. All neatly packed for you. Thanks, Mother. Would you like a ride to school? Thanks a million. Hi. Arthur. Arthur. You got to listen to your heart. Listen to the beat. Listen to the rhythm. So yeah, just a little bit weird, but it gets even weirder. Here is what's known as <laughs> the bleep. Yes, Arthur is here to teach us about cursing. He describes to the kids, as well as to me, what it means when the bleep sound effect plays on TV. Already a pretty strange topic for a kid's show, not gonna lie, but it's even weirder because he explains it wrong? I mean, he describes it as a guy just sitting there while the filming is happening who presses the bleep button as the actors are speaking while they, uh... Insert silence into their sentences instead of actually cursing? Arthur, you, you forgot to press the bleep button. <sighs> Just forget it. I mean, I don't want to harbor on this point for too long, but that's definitely not how you do it. Obviously, the actors actually curse, and then you just edit it in after the fact. I feel like I barely even need to explain that. Oh, come on! After the intro segment, we find DW in a store with her grandma. While grandma pays, DW hears an older kid say a curse word to his mom. <gasps> of course, DW, being a stupid moron four-year-old, thinks that whatever word the kid said actually made his mom drop the glass she was holding. And she is therefore too scared to ask her grandma about it, seeing as how she just bought a big expensive glass dish herself. So instead, she goes to Arthur to ask about it. I have to ask you something. What does mean? <laughs> 
happened again! Still not quite understanding, she asks her imaginary friend Nadine, who, uh, big surprise... I don't know anything you don't know. ...is not that much help either. Just ask your mom and dad. All you have to do is tell it to us. We're then treated to one of the very many gifable moments in the show, Arthur anxiously shaking his head no. But she decides to ask about the word anyway. Okay... You shouldn't have done that, Peter. You, you will suffer. No, the entire world will suffer because you said the word for. Bad idea, Nadine. So she tells her friends the Tibble twins about it instead, which leads to this absolutely amazing scene. <laughs> Yes, this is a real episode of Arthur where little kids are cursing multiple times in a row. And that's not even the worst part, just trust me, it gets even worse at the end of the episode. The Tibble twins already know what the word is since they watch a lot of cable TV, so they lie to DW, telling her that the word will turn an adult into a zombie? for a day, and they'll do whatever you tell them to do. And, uh, yeah, she believes that for some reason. Because, again, she is a stupid moron four-year-old. But even for a stupid moron four-year-old, you'd think that she would realize that this was a lie? Like, maybe if this was a thing, she probably would have heard about it by now? Like, she would have seen at least somebody doing this. You know, including maybe, um, the Tibble Twins, who are constantly lying to you, getting you in trouble, and doing things like this to you. <laughs> Nah, though, DW, don't worry about it. It's probably gonna work. So she fantasizes about saying the word to her teacher to make her give her a soda and let her watch TV. Your every wish is my command. Because that's apparently the best thing that she could think of to do with this power. But in reality, she's too much of a coward to do it. So she does the next best thing, convincing her neighborhood friend who's even younger to try it out first. And then wait and see what happens. Wow, DW, are you serious? How very noble of you. I'm very disappointed in you. What do you have to say for yourself? Hey, you look really good today. I'm sorry, DW, but flattery will not work on me. Oh, by the way, if you find a match, I didn't do it. Wait, did she just say a match? We must go. Play it. DW, there's no time for that. We gotta get out of here. Leave Arthur. Just drink and leave him there. So DW spies on her friend to see if she does eventually say the word. Did she say it? I think she just said it. Are you listening to me? Dora Winifred Freed. What did you just say to me? The next door neighbor parents then come over and they all stare in disappointment at DW. So she gets put to bed and is given a talking to from mom. Swear words are not appropriate things to say. Why? Most people are offended by them. Wait, what? That's not a good explanation at all. Okay, go to bed already. Sheesh. I'm trying to do something here. What do they mean? They mean I want to hurt your feelings. Mom, I still have a lot of questions, actually. What about two different words that mean the same thing? One isn't a bad word and one is? Who gets to decide that? Is it really bad to say something just because it offends people in every possible situation? And why is some little word so offensive in the first place? You know what, Mom? We're all thinking it. I'm just going to come out and say it. You're a Again. You look like a An actual episode of Arthur. You're a where kids are not just cursing. Did you see it to him? But cursing. What in did they do when you did? A lot. Thanks for teaching it to us, you I think we need to have a talk about this. Don't you dare say any of that ever again. Using that kind of language in my house. Get the out of here. <laughs> this program has been made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see some more Arthur videos, check them out right here. And if you want to see more of these funny Arthur toys, then make sure you check out the video I did on the Peeps channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate y'all. See you guys next time. Mama! Arthur just your favorite bird. Whoa.